Hello there, kitties. I'm Carrie, your friendly local vacuum tube witch. Again in the lab, still with the voice malfunctioning. I've got some non-linear distortion on it, but see this box? It's mailbag time again! So, <coughs> let's Get a knife and unpack it. Wait. You call it a knife? This is a knife. Let's get it on. The look of the determination on my face. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be something interesting. It's definitely gonna be something interesting. What is it then? Uh, let's move the microphone to the side. There's a lot of packing material. And the color might seem familiar to you. Especially those on the opposite side of the Atlantic Ocean. so huge look at that this is my new scope the real deal it's the Tektronics 468 and first thing I would like to do I think I will just turn it on, not take it apart. Your typical IEC C13 or C14 power cable. That goes right into the socket. But just just look at the back panel all the descriptions yeah it just it just doesn't do this loveliness justice Let me just fire it up. I will need something to put it on. This might be a good candidate. Uh, still need some more. I will have to be extra careful. Because this thing is heavy. It's so fucking heavy. 
Believe me. Whew. Okay, let's try to operate it. Now where was the... What was the power switch anyway? It's uh, it's it's my first uh, Tektronix scope. <laughs> first in my life. Extend magnification, position, intensity, trace separation. We've got all sorts of controls. But where is the power? <laughs> found it! Yes, I found it right here. The fan is pretty loud on this thing. Not like my hammock. Because the hammock is uh, its very silent. Waiting till the CRT comes on. It shouldn't be on. Wow, it's got two time bases. Horizontal display, yeah. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's peek around. Get the intensity. If I turn up the intensity, it will go lighter, brighter. Scale, lumin scale illumination, it works, yeah. yeah. Calibrate those. And horizontal position. Oh, I think I got it. Wow. Okay, so it looks like it looks like the time base. Uh, I have to send it and looks like it's working in the XY mode. Oh, that was interesting. Auto normal single sweep. Uh, <coughs> if I uh, if I change the the trigger mode. Uh, it uh, it starts to do its thing. And we've got a lovely straight line on the CRT. I wonder how long it has been just sitting there not working. Okay, let's get a probe.
connected to the input. And see if... Looks like the... Looks like the switch will need some cleaning. Doesn't look good. Triggered. This is pretty unstable. Times ten. It's getting a little bit fuzzy. Tested on the other channel. And get the trigger from channel two. I see channel two. Still a little bit fuzzy. What you can see in the video, it's uh, it's flickering because of the uh, refresh uh, frequency of uh, the CRT. It's not the case um, when I look at it on the screen. Extend magnification. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still very fuzzy. is triggered yeah it has I think I will have to take it apart and see if I could clean the contacts on the switches um, because the scope might really need that. I also wonder if I I can use the digital storage uh, feature. All the nastiness in the signal that will be stored and uh, shown on the on the screen. Pass trigger. Yeah. I can I can measure the time on the on the 
digital indicator I can measure the the voltage. Pretty interesting. If I change the switch and the probe to ta to times one, yeah, it's way out there. Oh silly scope! Oh silly scope! <laughs> I won't be doing the dual trace thing with it uh, at the moment. There's uh, there's also one switch right here. Let's see what it is. It says it's number of sweeps. And by the way, I thought um, this would be the um, digital multimeter attachment, but it seems that uh, four six eight has um, the digital one, the analog to digital converter and memory logic um, <coughs> and uh, meter in place of that uh, multimeter attachment. Quite a surprise. An interesting one. So this old silly scope will become the main uh, scope in my lab and I'm very curious uh, how it will be to do all the measurements and and tests uh, using this loveliness because uh, yeah I think that uh, next time I make a video on it it will be a proper teardown and uh, and repair restoration because this unit really needs it and it's worth it so until next time that was carry the vacuum chip witch with a still discombobulated voice but it's time to make those videos again and start streaming again. Keep up the good work, people. Bye.